Oh, good morning. Welcome back to Richlands, Ohio, in the Ohio farm. It's the end of December now. Uh, I had some snowfall overnight, but no accumulation. We were trying to get a head start on emptying the bunker silo. We want to try and sell all that silage here in the month of December. At least that's what we thought. Two points. So we're going to continue doing that today. A quick look around the property here. I think we probably have a honey pallet. We can take over to the farm shop to sell. Um, we had things strewn all over at the end of the day yesterday, but we got everything back to where it should be, I think. It's a cold morning. I didn't open the back, did I? See what we get here. Two boxes. Two more boxes. I'm going to have to hop in the pickup to open the, the bed. I also don't know if this will fit. Oh, well, maybe. I gotta hop out over that. Okay. This is a different button combination. I think that was it. Nope. The <laughs> third time's a charm. Oh, Going third person. third person to see if I got the tailgate. I did. Oh, good. Oh, 
Looks like there's frost in the uh, canola field. A little bit, maybe. Looks like it to me. sold. I think I turned the light on. <laughs> It'll be hard to tell. Let's see, where were we? I think I will start out by feeding the chickens and getting milk. So we'll do the chickens first. Drop the forks right here. try the other chicken pen first make sure it's topped off <laughs> still thinking some give them one more because I think they'll take it all. Of course if they don't I don't have anything to do with this barley. <laughs> Guess I could have looked first just to make sure they'd take it all. I think they will. I think they will. Yep. I think they'd take a lot more. But that's good for now.
weight off. Grab the little trailer. Oh, I forgot. Maybe there's maple syrup pellets down there. Uh, let's see how the cows are doing this one. Good on feeding straw. I didn't realize there was so much uh, hay in here. <laughs> that was a mistake. Not to let them eat that down before starting to give them the total my trash in. A few moments later. That's good enough. Tucked out of the way. Let's go see if there's a uh, maple syrup pellet down by the maple trees. And then off camera at the end of the day yesterday, I was talking about. Um, or at the end of the episode yesterday I was talking about uh, taking another load of salvage I didn't but I did load another one so we are loaded and ready to go sell that one and we keep going on empty in the pit there I don't think so I think I see one. Oh yeah there is dollars cost nothing but water
go hop in the truck. How much more do we have left in here? <laughs> Probably quite a bit. Oh, I wanted to fix this. Give me a second. Okay, that's better. It looks a lot better. Might be in just a little too far. But looks better than it did. Alright. <laughs> Uh. I should look to see what the price is before we well, we know where it's going. the game loads and the truck spawns in and it says oh I've got to fill this trailer with silage to start because that's how it was at the end it just dumps it in so it's not evenly spread like I tried to do it when I loaded it
love to see that money climb. Six eight oh six. It must be dropping. That's so good. Let me check the price here, quick. Silage. Silage. There was three three nine. That's a new high, isn't it? I think it was up like 342 when we looked at it yesterday though. We've established the new historical high. That's what it is we're gonna get. I've got 13 buckets I'm going to have to dig out of here. Interested to get over to the old the General Mill again. Let's see how the work's coming on over there. I said it was going to cost a hundred thousand to get it operational again, but really that's more uh, some modernization costs. We're going to try and 
modernize that General Mill a little bit so we can do more than just flower at it. Yeah, it's gonna get a little repetitious. We should probably time lapse it. Second load of silage for the day. Hopefully, we'll get about 27 close to it. at hand. 
I guess I could look at other ways of emptying the bunker silo. Conveyor belts or... What's that? Pickup header or something like that. But I don't mind that so much. Using the wheel loader. I can just try and keep it keep it interesting for you in editing the best that I can. I mean, that's, that's what we do in December. We sell up our crop a lot of the time. Okay, we're back at the West Place again. is left in here. 315,000. So, probably five loads. And with the last one, we could probably Top the trailer off with the uh, stave silo because I think we still got plenty, plenty in there. So five more loads. That's that's another hundred thousand, hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. This is lucrative, man. Good money in making silage, that's for sure. You know, a lot of work went into this, though.
again. I think after this we're going to take a break for lunch. Um, I hope we're almost 27, 26, 800, something like that. Okay, 6, 8, 24. Take it. up spending a little more time at lunch than I had hoped. It's one o'clock in the afternoon now. Time's kind of got away from me a little bit. I was on the phone a lot making for calls. Uh, I had to do a bank transfer uh, to pay for the uh, guys working over at the uh, General Mill. Uh, Works well underway trying to get the uh, modernization and the upgrades done on everything so we can uh, do some additional products in there. So you see the money's gone down. I think I ended up paying probably about $88,000 for the upgrades, which works out pretty good because we ended up acquiring the, uh, the mill and the land for a little more than I thought. We're still, it's probably gonna end up cost about $400,000 before it's all said and done, which is a lot. I'm getting in the JCB because there's a piece of equipment, uh, used equipment at the store that I, I think I wanna get. I know you guys are gonna be uh, disappointed in me <laughs> because I, keep buying stuff but um, yeah I can't help it we're gonna head up to the the mill just to see how it works coming along there and then we'll head down to the store and we'll pick that up uh, well we got we got to pay for it still so <laughs> the money's gonna go down even more then we'll get back on the silage um, yeah this is uh, it's ended up being costly I don't like not having this much money, especially knowing that we're, we've are we been selling our products and stuff, but there's not too much we can do about it. We want to get that mill up and running because we're, that's where we want to take our products. You know, we're, our, we're going to take our wheat there. We're going to make flour. We're going to take our canola there. We're going to make canola oil. Uh, do we have anything else? I think we have some soybeans, but I think we'll probably just sell the soybeans, what, like next June? I don't know. I think we got probably three more loads of silage in the bunker. Uh, and then maybe we could take one more out of the stave silo. That'd give us $100,000 right now. And then uh, we'll start putting the products 
into the mill as soon as they get done doing the work over there and we'll be able to uh, start producing stuff there. They should be here. They've been working for a while. Cleanup uh, crew also came and hauled away a lot of the trash and debris and garbage and stuff. So. We're just going to kind of check on them here. Looks like I got a full crew here working. And yeah, they got the construction fence up and everything. And yeah, it looks good. So yeah. That's awesome. And yeah, a lot of the, the dumpsters and the trash is cleaned up here. I think I think we got the warehouse cleaned out. Yep. So yeah, the, the mattress and all that other trash junk's gone in there. And then there's still some of this stuff, but that's all right. Uh, makes it look lived in, right? But the big skids and the piles of scrap and stuff is is gone so all right this is excellent so yeah once they get this done we'll be able to start bringing our our canola and our meat over here and uh get it done. What does it say up there? Does that have a year on it? I can't tell from down here. Yeah, 19... What does it say? 1916? That's so cool. Anyway, um, yeah, let's go down to the store then. I think I can go around here probably be all right the construction fence ends I'll just stay away from the discharge I'll kind of drive on the outside here so we're gonna head down to uh, Hogs equipment and uh, pick up that piece of gear and then we'll get back on all the silage. <laughs> Pull in here. I hope it's still available. I talked about it before a long time ago uh, and that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. There we go. Field container for our slurry. Uh, I'm just worried about the cows producing more slurry than we can use. And also we need a lot to do our fields because they're pretty big. So let's just get it here. Um, I'm not going to have a license plate on it, I don't think. So, yikes, there we go. But this way we can stockpile the slurry so that we have enough to maybe be able to use it to fertilize a whole field. <clears throat> we can store some in here, some in the trailer, and then what's in the uh, cow barn. That's my thinking. I know you disagree. I got way too much stuff, but I like it. I don't know if this is the biggest one that they had, but it's better than half off. Yeah, this is the 65, so this is the larger of them. So 
we'll head back the back way. And uh, we'll locate it probably down at the southern end of the grass field by the trees where, you know, where we kind of put everything anymore, it seems like. Oops. Oh, there we go. Shadow side. I don't know, I think it's a good buy. You may not agree. But I think it gives us uh, more capability on the farm, and that's really what what we're looking for. I'll see you when we decide to locate it. All right. All right, I'm arriving back at the farm. At some point, I uh, looks like I jostled the jack on the headphones and changed the microphone to it. I hope that was during that transit back otherwise we're gonna have some messed up volume i think oh uh, that sucks where am i gonna put this i think i'll put it on the other side of this uh tank what do you think Yeah, right in there. That's where we'll put it. This is cool. You can lower it down, I think. I don't know what raises and lowers it, though. <laughs> I guess we'll just uh, unhook it and it'll lower down. There we go. I think there is a way you can do it, but I don't want to open the help menu just to find that out. All right, let's get over here and get... Oh, I got to go get the truck, don't I? Okay, we're back at the west place. We got the... Bill's truck now with our, our idea liner trailer. I think we got three more trailers full. We can take one out of the stave silo, and make it four to, to make sure we got a hundred thousand dollars working capital. I don't know if I can get it all done today, but we're gonna try. It's almost two o'clock. But we ain't never gonna get done if we don't start emptying it again. I wonder how long it takes. It's almost uh, two o'clock, 10 minutes to two now. Let's see what time we get done.
time back at the uh, sell everything container. Looks like uh, we need to check the feeding place while we're here. And it's what? Um, 240? And it was 10 minutes to 2 when we started, so that's what? 50 minutes. It's probably about an hour game round trip to uh, load and uh, sell one of these. Yeah, the money's not been going up, so let's, let's get that taken care of. Grab that one here. Better? Yep. I don't know. How are we doing on time? I think I'll be alright. I think I'll get this done here at the end of December. Uh, I just don't know how much longer you can hang with me. Because I think we're probably running out of time. I don't know. Yeah, I'll shoot. If I do a time lapse on that, it should be alright for a little while longer. Of course, that's what we're, that's about all we're doing. That's not too exciting. Why don't you hang with me till we get back to the West Place? I forgot to turn the farm dairy on when I was there uh, before and put the milk in. So we gotta do that. Get it producing products. I've got, what, it's 3 o'clock now, 4 or 5, it starts getting dark, I tell you, it's dark at 5, I think I can get two more done, before we start losing daylight too bad. Let's see how it goes. I don't know, I think it's been a pretty productive episode, but not money-wise, because it's the balance has gone the wrong direction <laughs> for as much as we've sold. Uh, but think about it that we're we've got the uh, modernization at the mill going on and picked up that field container for slurry so, and that's the way it goes you know when we get our products over there into the mill and that starts pumping out you know uh, canola oil and flour for us and then we're able to start selling those products I think we'll be making good money we really do And that's kind of why we did it you know let's take the next steps we're still doing the farming but we've got a little bit uh, a little bit of the side hustle going on we got our farm shop we got our farm dairy now we got our got our general mill I think next year is gonna be a really profitable year that's my prediction but I guess we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's been almost exactly an hour from when I said, hey, I wonder how long it'll take. So <laughs> we know uh, we know what that's going to do then. Uh, turn that on for butter. Oh, 
How much we got left here? One, five, seven. So if we're getting about 80, yeah, it's two more loads from here. Uh, and then, and then we can see what we have over in the stave silo. I think there's probably like 300,000 in there. So we could probably take one load from the stave silo. And still have plenty left. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we're in here 232. So that'd leave us with about 150. That should be plenty, I think. Then we'll cut grass down you know, once the spring starts again. And uh, yeah, I think I think we're fine. Uh, things are going well, I think, here in late December. We're ending the year strong. Uh, I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the Ohio farm. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to get two more loads out of this bunker silo at least before the end of the day. I'm going to get this cleared. Maybe we'll take another one out of the stave silo. Uh, maybe at the beginning of January. We'll see uh, how I'm doing on time, but I think we're out of time together. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? It don't cost nothing. If you'd like to leave a comment, i love to hear from you. And if you want to share this video, that'd be awesome. I'll see you next time. Station.